All right, today I want to deal with the topic entitled, I am God's workmanship. I am God's workmanship. I think that we need to understand some of these things. All right, we need to know what God has for us. We need to know exactly who we are in Christ, and we also need to know what to do. I believe that Satan has been lying to us. I believe that there has been a lie spoken over us by our friends, by our family. And it's not true. Okay, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 states the following. For we are his workmanship, that's God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So I want you to see something here. This is very significant. All right. Number one is God created you a certain way. How do I know that? Well, how many of you have got children? Okay, I have three children. I feed them the same food. They stay in the same house. They have the same rules. But guess what? They are totally different. How on earth can my children be so different if they have the same parents, same discipline, same food, same everything. I'll tell you why. Because God created them differently. God's workmanship in each one of them is unique. I cannot treat them the same. I cannot um, uh, discipline them the same. They're different. They work differently. If I approach the one, I can do it quickly. The other one, I, don't, I can't do it quickly. And so it carries on. You are unique. God created you uniquely. He has made you his workmanship. Now, this is significant. This is very important because what happens so many times is somebody is trying to make you into something that they can relate to. Somebody is trying to change you into something that looks like the norm. Let me tell you what the norm is. Everybody should be different. Everybody should be unique. And we should be celebrating the uniqueness. We should be celebrating the uniqueness. And so what we are talking about is the following. Do not put yourself in a box. Do not let somebody's words make you uh, into a mold that you were never created to be. I want to tell you right now, God has made you unique. God has made you special. And God has put something really special in your life. I want to tell you right now that I want to bless you this morning. I want to tell you that you are unique, you are special, and you need to celebrate this. You do not need to conform to everybody else's idea. Now, why did God make you unique? The Bible says God prepared beforehand every good work for you. That you should walk in them. What does that mean? It means God's got a plan for me. He has created me uniquely. Okay. Uniquely so that I can fulfill that plan. I have giftings that somebody else hasn't got. But they've got giftings that I don't have. You can't be me. I can't be you. I have teaching abilities and giftings for what I need to do in the kingdom. But you have got giftings that I need from you. I can't make you like me. I can't judge you on the information that I know because I have a revelational gift that is even ahead of me. What do I mean by that? Every single morning, I sit in the early hours, I'm getting downloads all the time. This morning again, I was getting downloads. I'm not doing it. God is doing it through me. So what is happening is the following. I am doing, I have been created this way for the gifting and the uniqueness that God has for me. But you have to, you are God's workmanship. So this morning, I want you to break off any doubt of who you are. There are far too many Christians just going and saying, listen, I'm not worthy. I cannot do this. I'm not uh, equipped to do this or whatever you may be calling yourself. And you are limiting what God has for you. And it's not God's fault. It is man's fault. Busy putting words on your life. Saying that you cannot do something. Where God has called you and equipped you to do it. And so this morning. 
I want to break off this bondage or this heaviness of words that have restricted you into something. It's over, folks. It's over in the name of Jesus. We cut this thing off today. We celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ, remember that the Bible says in the scripture, it says this, that you were created in Christ Jesus. In other words, it's through Christ Jesus that you get this. All right? You are God's workmanship, but through Christ Jesus. Everything comes through what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And so, folks, I want to just celebrate with you today and say, come on, let's stand up together. Let's do what God has called us to do. Because we have a plan. We have a function. We have a purpose. But we are unique. So don't try and copy somebody else. And definitely do not let them tell you what you should be. People have tried that many times in my life. Many, many times. But I had a revelation of this when I was younger. And I refused to fall into that box. In fact, many times people actually saw me and perceived me as being rebellious. I said, I'm not rebellious. I just am not called to do the thing that you are calling me to do. And also the way that you want me to do it. It's not me. I need to do what God has called me to do. And you need to do the same. I need to celebrate the gifting inside of you. I need to celebrate what God has called you to do in Jesus name. And so right now we are going to take communion folks. And as we take communion, we are going to celebrate what God has for you. We are going to trust God for a supernatural move and a supernatural impartation in your life. But I want to break this thing off us in Jesus name. I want to break this whole, this mindset, this, this uh, negativity that has been put on us. You are not a copy of somebody else. You are not a duplicate of somebody else. Okay, so let's pray together. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you are moving by your spirit. Lord, I pray that you are going to do a mighty move in our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that we can break off every single thing that has come against us, boxed us, any negative word, uh, any mindsets. Lord, I cut that thing off in Jesus' name. Lord, I break this thing that I am not unique and that I am not a workmanship of God. I cut that off. I bind every single curse, concentration, thought, negative word spoken over me in Jesus' name that has restricted me from doing what God has called me to do. And Lord, right now, I thank you that we can repent, Lord, of any words that we have spoken over ourselves. Lord, we repent of every negative word spoken over ourselves that have brought us into bondage by ourselves. Where we have said, God, we are not worthy. Where we have said that we are not able to do something. Lord, I bind that in Jesus' name. I take that guilt off us today. And Lord, I thank you that from today we are free. We are free and we are liberated in the name of Jesus because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Lord, I ask you right now, on the night that you were betrayed, you took bread and broke it. And you said, this is my body that was broken for you, take in remembrance of me. You took the cup and said, this is my blood. Drink in remembrance of me. Lord, I thank you right now that as we take of your body, that we have physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that as we take the cup, that we are saved and that you have protection and provision in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the power of God over our lives. And Lord, I thank you right now that you paid the price, that we are unique. Lord, that through you, we have got a plan on this earth. Lord, that we are liberated from these bondages in the name of Jesus. Saints, I set you free in Jesus' name. I bind those words over you. I cut them off. I set you free to be unique and to do what God has called you to do in Jesus' name. Parents, you need to repent if you have boxed your children. You need to go to your children and set them free today. And ask God to show you what their purpose is. Ask God to show you what the plan is over your children. So that you can have them fulfilled and fulfilling what God has called them to do in Jesus' mighty name. So let's partake together as we celebrate our uniqueness, our freedom, and the fact that we are God's workmanship in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's partake together.
Lord, we thank you right now that we can come before you. And Lord, we pray and release healing in our bodies in Jesus' name. I command every symptom to go in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that I am healed by the power of God. I thank you, Lord, that I can stand strong on your word. I can release the power of God over my life right now in Jesus' name. I command every symptom to go. I thank you, Lord, that I'm healed and every symptom is gone. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the dunamis power of God that is in me. And Lord, the Spirit of God that dwells in me, quicken my mortal body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I have a very, very exciting announcement for you. Okay? Particularly if you're a saint. I want to tell you what has happened. I want to thank you very much for praying with us, with the nations, for the 40 days. All right? The 40 days we've been praying together. It's been awesome. It's been a wonderful thing. But here is the announcement. I want you to come and help me participate in the next phase. How are we going to do that? Remember that every single day we are praying Psalm 91 over our houses, over our families, over the economy. But this is what I want. From today, and I need somebody to do it from this morning already. I want you to record yourself reading Psalm 91. All right, I want you to record yourself, and you can send them in on WhatsApp. In other words, you record yourself, and then you can send it on WhatsApp to me, okay? Send me the video. And send us the video of you recording Psalm 91 in English and in Afrikaans. I'm not the same person. If you're Afrikaans, you do in Afrikaans. English, you do it in English. And we will put it up on our Facebook every single day. Why do I want to do this? Because I want to see the body of God, the body of Christ in action. It's not about just me doing it all the time. It's about us. This is our battle for our nation. Okay, so you are free to sit down and record these, these Psalm 91s and just send them to me. And we'll schedule them. And every day, 12 o'clock, we will release Psalm 91, okay, on our Facebook of you reading them. And so I want to just encourage you. Practice, all right? Record it, get it to me, and we will start posting them in Jesus' name. Because I really believe that this is the time for the body of Christ to work together. This is the time when we stand together, all right? We are going to um, sit down and stand in agreement and get this thing done in Jesus' name. We are going to see our economy blessed, and we're going to see the blessing of the Lord in South Africa. All right, so if I could ask you to get ready for that and start sending them in, folks. And we are going to start posting them um, every single day at 12 o'clock. All right. So well, feedback quickly. Thank you very much for everybody who's helping me uh, with the Kings and Priests book. Okay. Helping me with the sales uh, or pre-sale of that. We've just reached 500 books sold. Okay. We need to get to 3,000. Why is this book so important? Let me just deal with that in one sentence. And it's very simple. If we had every Christian business applying those biblical principles, we would be turning the economy around in Jesus' name. Because we are doing it off a spiritual platform and we are not doing it in the natural. And God will bless us for that. Okay, so I want to ask you please to assist us to get this book into Christians' hands. Get this, these teachings. And it's not about a book. It's about the principles that will genuinely transform their businesses, transform their lives. So please, I'm going to ask you again, just get the word out there and let, me, let's get these tools into businesses' hands so that we can sit down and turn this economy around. They make for excellent Christmas gifts. All right, I've got many people who are buying a few for Christmas gifts to get it to business people. But I'll tell you right now, if we can get this right, where people are applying biblical principles in their business, we are going to change the economy in South Africa. Because God's word works in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so I just want to just remind you that you can get uh, the orders and the books at DrArthurFrost.com. No spaces, no capital letters, just DrArthurFrost.com. If somebody can just type it for me in small letters. And then also, I want to just say, anybody who's international, 
All right, there's many that are now really worried that they can't get hold of the book. I'm making a solution today, all right? We will have a solution for you where we can get uh, our issues, the shipping to you. All right, so what we're going to do is we're busy working on it. By the end of today or tomorrow, I will have a solution up for you. Okay, and don't worry, even if you run out of the 3,000 books, if you're out of the country, I will I know about you. I will make sure that we print a few extra to make sure that you're in the, the first batch. Okay, so don't worry, you're fine. All right, let's pray for our nation in Jesus' name. Lord, we come before you this, this morning. We thank you, Lord, that we can pray over our nation. Lord, we thank you right now for the lifting into stage one. And Lord, we thank you right now for the blessing of God that rests on every believer in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that this economy start prospering like never before. Lord, we release the power of God. Lord, we go out and we build our altars. Lord, and we go and establish what we need you as believers. Father, I thank you for your protection over us. Lord, I thank you, Lord, and as we go, we carry might, we carry power, we carry favor. And Father, I thank you right now that you are moving by your spirit in Jesus' mighty name over every single sector. Lord, we bless South Africa. South Africa, you will prosper, you will stand, and you will see the power of God being made manifest in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement, and we thank you, Lord, that your word says we do or more agree upon on one thing it shall be established in Jesus mighty name and everybody said amen and amen well folks let's get right into our declaration this morning and as we do please I want to remind you please hit that share button if you haven't yet this morning hit that share button so we can get this word out to the nation all right in Jesus name I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. 